In today's episode of MJ Every Day, I talk to you guys about why science often lags behind anecdote. I've been in this industry a long time, guys, and I have seen time and time again, new novel ingredients make it into performance supplementation, sports supplementation, and general health supplementation, and people refrain from using them because the science isn't there to back up the claims. And it leads to this question about why does science often lag behind anecdote? Why do we have anecdotal evidence of particular ingredients or particular supplements or, or, or particular compounds doing a certain thing before the science actually proves them to do that certain thing? And it's really quite easy when you think about it and, and, and you break it down and you look at the timeline of how these things happen, often an ingredient will, will come to, to fruition or come to the market people will start using this ingredient and experience an effect from it. Anecdotally, they're experiencing some sort of effect from it. That experience, that anecdotal evidence, that anecdotal experience then becomes the catalyst for somebody to go and do the scientific studies on that particular ingredient to prove that the anecdotal evidence either is or is not true, either is or is not correct. It doesn't work the other way. There's no reason for somebody to go and scientifically study, go and do a double blind placebo study or whatever type of study they want to do on a particular ingredient if there's no merit for doing that study in the first place. If there's no anecdote, there's no reason to do the science. There's no reason to do the study. So what does this mean when you're applying it to, the, to, to new supplements, to the supplement industry, to the thing, to new ingredients, novel ingredients? You know, at the moment, the time of shooting this video, we've got a couple. We've got epicatechin uh, in terms of being a, a myostatin inhibitor. We've got laxogenin in terms of being a, a protein synthesis booster. And we don't really have the science right now to back up a lot of the anecdotal claims that people are reporting come out of these ingredients. What does that mean? Effectively, what it means is you're gonna have to give them a try yourself. There's not gonna be the science for quite some time to back up a lot of the claims that people are anecdotally, anecdotally making about these ingredients and how supplements that contain these ingredients work. I'm a massive advocate at the moment for, for both, and in particular, laxogenin. I think the effects are incredible and people often hit me up and they say, you know, can you link me a study that shows that what you're saying is true? Can you show me the scientific evidence that proves that laxogenin does all these things you're saying it does? And my response is, no, I can't because the science doesn't exist yet. No one's done the studies yet. They will in time and I'm 100% sure that they'll back up what I'm anecdotally experiencing because I've got so much experience in using supplements and so much experience in this industry that I kind of know what is legit and what is not legit. But the fact of the matter is, the studies don't yet exist. The science doesn't yet exist. Nobody has taken and invested the time, the effort, the money improving that these new ingredients do what we are experiencing them anecdotally do at this point in time. So science is always gonna lag behind anecdote, guys. It's just the, it's just, just the way that the, the timeline works. It's the way that we go from anecdote to science, to study, to proving what the anecdote originally said. And in terms of supplementation, sometimes, man, you just got to listen to what people who are taking ingredients are reporting, put a little bit of faith in it, try them yourself, see what works and what doesn't work. Use yourself as a little bit of a guinea pig, for lack of a better term, and just kind of roll with it. And guys, that's a wrap for today's episode of MJ Every Day. As always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn your post notifications on, both on your mobile, your cell phone, and your desktop PC, so you don't miss a beat when it comes to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel. Until tomorrow, I'm coming to you from MassiveJoe's.com. Stay massive. 
Thank you for tuning into this video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to check out our latest upload and our recommended video and be sure to subscribe to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel to stay up to date with all of our latest uploads.